In 1954, the French were defeated at Dien Bien Phu and Vietnam was divided in two with the Ho Chi Minh and the Viet Minh taking over the northern part down to the 17th parallel and the French retaining the south from the 17th parallel downward. When we moved to Saigon, we had no housing. My father had no job and we were not the only refugees. Basically, the United States were, was feeding us and clothing us and protecting us with an army and giving us a functioning government. So the United States were, in a way, succeeded in nation building. Of course, this was interrupted by the insurgency of the Viet Cong. But um, at the beginning, it was successful. To children, to us, we just like, oh, you see the ghost, right? You see the alien coming from other planet. To me, I just stood there because I couldn't run. You know, where would you run? They're making so much noise and the wind. The plane lands in Da Nang. The door opens and this, this heat rolls in, this incredible heat rolls in, which is a lot hotter than any place I'd been prior to then. And there's a row of troops leaving and a row of troops arriving. And the difference between the way we look coming off and the way these other guys look coming on pretty much underscored that, you know, you didn't really realize what you're getting into because these guys look very different. As the children, we never used the word Viet Cong. For Americans, see, Viet Cong is an enemy, it's an evil. To us, it no, they're the Vietnamese. They are people, they are the villagers in our country. And so for them to stay and fight, they did only choice. My father told me, you know, we're so lucky. We're such a small, poor country. We have nothing to offer the United States. And yet it's, it's sending troops, giving us not only resources, but with their, saving us with their own lives. We thought with the Americans coming in, you know, there was no way the communists could win. The U.S., they have all kind of, you know, uh, support. Vietnamese do have a lot of casualty because we don't have that kind of heavy equipment. I believe that the Americans are gonna, gonna win the war very easily because that kind of support, that kind of troop, and that kind of power. So I don't know why the war keep continuing.